Woo! What is going on guys? Welcome to the match reaction. Manchester United are true to the semi-final of the Europa League. Another semi. Another semi. Um, we've beaten Granada 4-0 on aggregate, 2-0 tonight. And uh, Cavani scores an absolute brilliant goal. A really good goal, five minutes in. So I thought, oh, we're in for it now. It's going to happen. It's going to be filled with goals and it's going to be exciting. And it just wasn't one of those games. But I don't care because we got through. We've won. We've kept two clean sheets. Um, and it is just a massive, massive step to silverware that we really, really desperately need. Um, you know, Solskjaer has taken this team to many semi-finals and we've just come out disappointed every fucking time. So this time we have to progress and it's going to be Roma who we face. Um, and uh, the pundits just said that of all five meetings that United have faced um, against Roma, we have won. So, you know... <laughs> That is, that's a good sign, that's, you know, that's good, it'll give you a bit of confidence going in. Roma aren't doing too well in the league right now, in Syria, um, and yeah, they still have a few players, they've got Mkhitaryan there, they've got Edin Dzeko who played at Man City, they've got Pedro who was on the bench, he only came on for about three minutes um, today, I'm not sure, I haven't really kept keeping tabs on, on, on Roma, but um, they do have a few good players, you know. Uh, of course, Chris Smalling is there. How could I forget? So, um, yeah, it'll be a nice little reunion with a couple of our players, ex-players. But, uh, yeah, today, like, I'm just so happy to get that win. Um, but, again, I must mention Edinson Cavani's goal. Like, what a goal. Brilliant ball in. Um, and then Pogba, his awareness to know, right, he's not really getting anything on this. So, he backheaders it. He kind of flicks it back. Um, hoping that someone is there and Cavani is like looking at it he's watching it and watching it and he connects beautifully with it and volleys it into the back of the net an absolutely spectacular goal and when I'm watching it in slow motion I felt why is no one really going to him like Cavani is the most dangerous player on the pitch for scoring goals and then you, you know it's majestically just fall into this beautiful beautiful man El Matador and he's just ready and waiting for it to boom and obviously in slow motion, yeah, it, it's slow motion, obviously. So I just thought, this is like way too easy for him, way too easy. But what a goal, absolutely brilliant. It, you know, it's not easy to connect with the ball like that. Um, obviously, you'd expect Cavani to be doing it. You'd expect professional footballers to be doing it. And he did just that. So yeah, um, obviously very excited to start starting the game. Basically, that kind of finished us off uh, or finished them off. I was going into the game thinking, I know we're going to win. We should win. And I think I felt too overconfident that then I start doubting myself a little bit. I was like, oh God, oh God. And I have this little bet going on. Well, it's not really a bet, but I have this thing going on with Yahi. Um, as you guys know, Yahi, my partner, is a massive, massive, massive Barcelona fan. And Barcelona have gotten knocked out of the Champions League. And I'm not rambling. This, this is, this is... This is to do with everything about football, so um, I'll get to the point. But Barcelona got knocked out of the Champions League, fair enough. Real Madrid are still in it. Real Madrid are Barcelona's biggest rivals. So yeah, he was like pissed off at the fact that Real are still in. And I was supporting Real Madrid against Liverpool because, of course, I do not want Liverpool to do well in the Champions League. So she was mad at me because I was rooting for Real Madrid. So then she starts saying like... Um, she starts singing songs, obviously she's Spanish, so she's like, oh, Granada, and singing all these, like, Spanish Granada songs, and I'm like, you need to stop, you actually need to stop, so I think she started getting to my head, she was like, head fucking me, and, and the more she sang, I was like, oh fuck, oh god, what if they do come in and, and score, because the first leg, I was, I was worried, the first leg, they had a load of shots, and today they weren't bad at all, they definitely had chances, but yeah, so I started to really reevaluate my life and what I was thinking about this match and how I felt. And yeah, so Cavani scoring that really made my nerves calm then. I was like, okay, no, we have this, we have this. But um, yeah, so, you know, yeah, he's mad at me because the, the Europa League or the Champions League, you've got Chelsea, Real Madrid, PSG and Man City. And she's like, okay, so who do you want to win? I'm like, 
Real Madrid. She's like, no, you cannot want Real Madrid. I'm a Barcelona fan and, and you know, and I like Barcelona too. Don't get me wrong. I do because of her and I, I kind of am happy when, when they're winning for her. But I want Real Madrid to win. And she's like, fuming at me. There's no way I want PSG to win. There's no way. Uh, Chelsea, no, I don't want to hear about it. No, Chelsea are not winning the Champions League. And then Man City, no, never, ever, ever, not happening. Never did, never will. Um, it can't happen. It cannot happen. So the only alternative for me is to support Real Madrid in the Champions League. And hopefully they win. Um, but yeah, this is meant to be a match reaction for Manchester United and Granada. But nothing really happened. Nothing really excited me. Nothing really went on that I was like, woo! You know, we got the job done. We scored an early goal. We finished them off. We, we were 3 nil up pretty much on aggregate. So, you know, sitting comfortable. There was a few little weird spells. You know, I thought, oh God, we got lucky there. But all in all, I think everyone played relatively well. I think the defence was good. Axel Tanzabi, solid. Uh, David De Gea, really, really good saves, actually. You know, we, if he wasn't there tonight, well, obviously, we would have had any goalkeeper. I'm sure they would have done well, too. But I think he really did um, stand up, and he, and he did quite well. I think the little bit of competition between him and Dean Henderson is actually... Um, it's going to work pretty well, because I think David De Gea is going to be like, screw this. I, I'm, I'm going to show you what you're missing. I did notice there was a, a little added spice about his game today maybe a bit of bravery you know he ran out for a, a ball and it was very Henderson-esque and um, you know David De Gea sometimes is a little bit more cautious but he just ran out and kicked the ball um, and I was like mm. I, I felt that he was very very loud he looked a little bit angry uh, towards the end when Tellez kicked the ball out he tried to clear it and it, it went out for a corner and David De Gea was like ah and um, you know and I like seeing that I like seeing the anger and the passion so you know maybe the mix with Dean Henderson and David De Gea will just help the whole team and um, you know you get pissed off when you're not getting played as as number one so it's good it's good and um, but anyway Juan Mata Juan Mata look I can't even say his name without smiling the guy everybody loves he's the nicest guy in football and um, he comes in obviously he's had a difficult time with the passing um, of his his mother so that is very sad. Um, so he hasn't really played at all, has he? And then coming back from that. Um, so to come on and do well, you know, he d definitely put a shift in. And then he he goes and he doesn't score the goal, but he made it. You know, he, he goes to head it and um, Vallejo, or Vallejo, he um, he thinks that Juan Mata has the ball. He's, he's like, oh, it's done. He's heading it into the, into the goal. Um, and Juan Mata actually doesn't get it. He misses it pretty much and it hits the guy in the face or the shoulder and just goes in anyway but um it, from certain angles it definitely looks like Juan Mata got it so yeah um I'm just gonna let him claim it but even though it's not allowed but still uh yeah I think he deserves that don't, don't you um but yeah god I'm, I'm I'm definitely really happy definitely really happy I think facing Roma I kind of wanted Ajax for some reason I don't know, like obviously because before um, we bet them in the Europa League, so I was like, mm, it would be nice to do it and have Donny van de Beek. But then again, Donny van de Beek isn't a major player for us. He's, he's not in the starting eleven. He doesn't get much time. So it might then work badly in our favour. But then, of course, we've got ex-players like Mkhitaryan, like Chris Smalling, um, and players that know Manchester United, and uh, maybe not re recently. So, yeah, I just think I kind of would have preferred Ajax. But in saying that, I, I'm, I'm happy with Rama. I think we can I think we can go ahead and win this. I really do. I really do. Um, I did feel that way a while ago. I may not have said it too loudly, but I definitely feel like if we do well, if we keep our form going, there's no reason why we can't. You know, the teams are coming up against we have been the favorites for a very very long time so there is no reason why we shouldn't win the Europa League and um, Arsenal again they had a massive win tonight they they won 4-0 against Slavia Prague and um, I'm not sure in aggregate what it was I think it was 2-1 or 3-1 something like that so they've basically smashed them and um, so they are obviously one of the favorites as well and um, so it could quite possibly be if if United do well fingers crossed if United do well, it could quite possibly be an all-English final again. Um, 
which has happened recently in the Champions League, Europa League, all that jazz. So yeah, um, anyway, I am rambling my arse off right now. But I'm very happy with the game. I'm not going to do player ratings or all that because I don't really think anyone cares. We had a great game. We won the game. Clean sheet. We're through to the semi-final. And it is late, so I need to go to bed. But if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, drop a like on the video. And let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. Were you happy? Um, also, one more point. Ahmad Diallo should have gotten a free kick. I was I was fuming about that. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Let me know your thoughts on the match in the comments.